You cannot game on this device, so don't ask. Hi, this is Will from 305 Tech. If this is your first time here, welcome. I have a special treat for you today. This is a Lenovo ThinkStation P360 Tiny. As of this recording, I believe this to be the most powerful one liter small form factor workstation out there. Due to its small form factor, I believe Lenovo has knocked it out of the park with this small ThinkStation. This Lenovo ThinkStation P360 Tiny is equipped with the latest 12th generation Intel Core i9-12900T which has eight performance cores and eight efficient cores, giving you a total of 16 cores and 24 threads and 30 megabytes of L3 cache. The efficient cores go from one gigahertz base clock to 3.6 turbo, and the performance cores go from 1.4 base to 4.9 gigahertz turbo. This specific model also comes with 512 gig SSD PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drive, an NVIDIA T400 graphics card with 4GB of RAM, and 16GB of DDR5 RAM. So today we're going to do a teardown and see what upgrades we can do to this workstation. Stay tuned. As always, I'm going to be using my trusty iFixit toolkit. And this is the only screw that you need to take out in order to completely open the machine. As I previously mentioned, this workstation comes with an NVIDIA T400 graphics card, which you can see has up to three DisplayPort connections, which means you can hook up three monitors. In theory, you can hook up more, but if you're gonna be utilizing the graphics card, you, hook, you gotta hook them up to these ports. So, accessing the hard drives is simple enough. As we can see here, the computer comes preloaded with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And we are going to be installing an additional 16 gigabytes of RAM. And this is DDR5 at 4800 speed. Another great feature of this tiny workstation is that it comes with two NVMe slots. This is the primary and this is the secondary slot. And what's great about this is that in theory, you can do RAID 1. One amazing feature of this workstation is that it's got dual NVMe slots. And this is great if you're looking for some additional physical redundancy, which means you can set up a RAID 1 configuration if you have two identical drives. Since I don't have such a requirement today, I will be removing this primary drive, which is a 500 gigabyte drive. I'll be giving it to a friend as a gift, and I will be installing the all new Samsung 990 Pro. As of December of this year, this is the absolute best drive in the market right now. If you are interested in getting one of these, please use my Amazon affiliate links down below, as well as any other item used in this video. I would appreciate it and it helps the channel grow. And I didn't mention this earlier, but you can put up to a maximum of 64 gigabytes of RAM in this PC. In theory, you can put up to eight terabytes of storage if you had two of these. Now the four terabyte model of this drive is not out yet. The maximum you can get at the moment is two terabytes. So in theory, right now you can have two two terabyte drives and you can have two terabytes in a RAID 1 configuration with physical redundancy, or you can just have them side by side.
Let's go over all the I.O. ports in this PC. You have USB A 3.2 Gen 2, always on, as well as mm, regular 3.2. You have USB C 3.2 Gen 2. In the back, you have a standard Ethernet connection, a gigabit. Again, you have more USB A 3.2 Gen 2, a display port, as well as an HDMI port. This is using the onboard video, so again, if you want to use the T400 graphics, you'll need to use these three uh, DisplayPort connectors. Now I should mention that in the box, you will also receive a VES amount as well as a full-size DisplayPort connector. And also you will get the Wi-Fi antenna. In summer, I think Lenovo has done an amazing job with this ThinkStation. It is low power, low heat, great performance, and I think it's great for any type of business that you don't have a lot of room. With a PC like this, you no longer need to have a bulky workstation around your desk. This can mount behind your monitor for trading desks, banking institutions, or pretty much anyone that wants to have a clean desk setup. This is the way to go. You cannot game on this device, so don't ask. All right, guys, I hope this video was informative for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. This is Will from 305 Tech. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.